Welcome to Mr. Sal's How To. Copy a Google Doc to your Edgeblogs account. All right, this is the second take, or possibly third, on how to copy your Google Doc from, actually, how, how to copy your Google Doc for your, um, any Google Doc, and put it in edgeblogs.org for your blog post. So first thing, you open up the Google Doc, and mine is open right here. Go to Edge of Blogs and sign in. So when you're on the main site, it looks like this. I want to go to the dashboard of my site. Make sure you're on the right site and not in your class blog. The overall class blog, make sure you're in your personal blog. Go to Add New under Posts on the left-hand side. And that takes you to this page. Now I'm going to go to the sample example blog post. I can either go to edit select all or I can manually highlight and copy the text so then I go back to my edublogs account I click in the body of the text and I select paste so I've copied the text from my Google Doc over there I don't like the spacing it needs a little bit of updating and editing so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a look. Copy your Google Doc response to your... Oh, I spelled edgy blogs wrong. So, I have to go through and correct any errors. Copy text. Jump to edgyblogs.org. Pass text. I'm going to go to paste. I could do spell check, but I'm going to do it manually. Proofread text. Add categories. Add tags. Publish post. Copy the correct URL. Submit the URL slash link to Schoology. I need to give this a title, so this will be how to copy from a Google Doc to your EduBlogs account. That is the title. So, I go over here, under my categories, I have a bunch of categories. I'm going to put it, because for this assignment you only need one, but I'm going to put it, it's a classwork. It's how to do something. It's student project. Technically, it's, and it's a tech tip. So then under tags... I need at least three tags. Student blogging, question mark, or comma, not question mark. Student blogging, blogs, how to. That's the minimum. I want to go for more than the minimum. Google Docs. I hit add. I have four. One, two, three, four tags. Now, to finalize this, I hit publish. You can also, if you get interrupted and you can't, you don't want to publish it yet, hit save. I'm going to publish it. I've proofread it. I've added categories. I've added tags. I'm going to publish the post. If I click on the permalink or hit view post, it takes me to the post. Now, that is how it looks. If I don't like it, I can go back in by hitting edit post and taking a look at things. I don't think I'm going to edit anything. I kind of like how it is. So I can either grab this permalink or I'll click on that, go up to here, view post. I'm going to grab this link that's up here, the public view. I'm going to copy that, go into Schoology, hit submit assignment, and this is the link to this specific blog post as opposed to the general blog. So this is what you would turn in on Schoology. If you have any questions, please email me at dsalvucci at nbasd.org or see me in class or see me on bus duty, and I will help you with any questions you may have. That wraps up this how-to video on how to take your Google Doc and put it into your EduBlogs blog post. I wrap this bad boy up.
and be done now. This work is licensed under Creative Commons licensing attribution share alike. Let people know who made it, which is me. Let others share your work. Thank you very much.